It is not actually not easy to make anime studio debut 7 introductional tutorial when you only have 10 minutes to do it. So it will go rather fast, but uncheck the beginner mode, uh, then you will have the tools that I use here and the settings that you will probably use later on. Um, I will create a shape to animate and I will draw a triangular shape. Hold down left uh, mouse button and drag. It will appear a triangular shape on your uh, uh, drawing area. The drawing area is the inside this blue rectangular shape. This is the border and the frame for the finished movie. Things that you draw outside this uh, blue rectangle will not show up in the finished movie. I want to change the color of this and then I use the uh, select shape tool and click on my shape and I will use a light blue color and click outside the shape then it becomes light blue. Down here you have the timeline. If you step uh, a bit further in the timeline to frame 24 that is one second into the movie. 24 frames are one second. That can be seen on the file and project settings. I only want to animate um, one second so I can change the start frame and end frame to 24 because then it will sort of loop between 1 and 24 and I will not see something that is outside my finished movie. Be when I am at the 24th frame I cannot draw a shape anymore and this is very very confusing I thought at least when I was new to this program that you have to be at the frame 0 which is a key frame. If you're not here, you cannot draw shapes. The thing you can do in the timeline, that is to manipulate the shapes that you already draw in frame zero. Right. So when I keep and when <laughs> when I am at the frame 24, I can oh, manipulate the shape. I can um, drag it around. So I mark the shape. I use the translate tool, I can move it up here, I can resize it, I can turn it. Something like this. If I now stand on the first frame and press play, I will see the animation, how it will move this shape up to the left corner. If I stop the animation in between here, the program has actually interpolated the shape from the beginning shape at the 0 frame to the 24th frame and decided that it should be right here. If you use more complicated effects and stuff, it will not show up in this working space. Then you have to pre-render a frame. So let's pre-render frame 12 by holding down the command button and the R button and a window will appear which will be one frame from the finished movie and we see the triangular shape or app here in the left corner. You can save the project by going to file and save as and the file saves as ANME files and that's good if I your if your um, project will crash, the program crashes, then you can take off from where you saved it last time. But probably what you wonder is how do I make a movie? Then you can use file and export animation. You set your start frame and your end frame and that is we want to do a movie from frame 1 to 24 here. We want it to be a quick time movie, that's default click OK, save it as something here on the desk, Skibibodis desk på svenska, in Swedish. We will set uh, the compression type, in this case I use MPEG-4 file, a videos, and uh, you can use the frames per second. If you use a lower number here, it will not be that smooth. 24 frames are still a second, but here you can use if you want to render 24 frames or if you only render 8 frames in a second. And you can use the quality LR you want to use for your finished movie. 
Maybe sometimes you want a lower frame rate and a lower quality because you want to preview what you're doing. So I click OK here. Best quality, 24 frames a second. And the program will start animating this, showing us uh, frame by frame. Let's play this again, see how it looks. Quite smooth and nice, I think. Thanks, bye.